perfect worlds of tomorrow and the wonderful things to come are themes that have always inspired people of imagination and creativity. Filmmakers have envisioned adventures of survival under the most catastrophic conditions or life in an ideal society. Logan's Run is a new motion picture set in the 23rd century. It depicts a perfect world in which people live and love in total pleasure. To create that complex world, producer Saul David and his company are using the technology of today and expanding it as a framework for the adventures of the future, devising a 23rd century where each day is devoted to the pursuit of pleasure. This one postulates a world in which you don't really have to do anything except enjoy, so that this utopia consists in a series of extrapolations of what seem to be pretty obvious tendencies today. Starting with new ideas and technology of this scope and making them come alive is a challenge to director Michael Anderson. Trying to define what a 23rd century utopia is. It's one of the most interesting things uh, of the preparation of this film that's, uh, that's come up. It's constantly an exciting day's work to come here every morning and create something that has not been done before. In the MGM workshops, a 23rd century maze car evolves from blueprints. Ingenious sets that depict the physical trappings of a future environment. Later, they'll be moved onto huge sound stages. Chris Outwater, one of America's leading scientists in the field of lasers and holograms, produces new light and image techniques. A great many experts work long and hard to construct the world of the future. Visual effects wizard Bill Abbott aims for the highest possible fidelity and credibility. Cinematographer Ernest Laszlo has an opportunity to experiment with innovative lighting. If the creation of the 23rd century offered a formidable challenge to each of these crafts, it presented an equal one to director Michael Anderson. He describes how this effort is being welded together. My job is to take all of their imaginations, plus mine, and channel them into a straight line. But it's only such a team as we have gathered together to make this film that gives us the reward of seeing something that we haven't seen on the screen before. And cut it. Not bad. Once more, please. It makes cross. Saul David and Michael Anderson develop a close relationship working on the set. We wanted to make the same movie, and so that there was an immediate marriage of ideas. The producer explains their perception of the theme of the film. This is a utopian movie, and like all utopian movies, it presents a marvelous future, but with a worm in the apple. In this world, the only thing you can't have is your 30th birthday. The star of the motion picture is Michael York. I play a character called Logan in the film. Now, Logan is, a, is a, what's called a Sandman. In fact, he's a policeman, but a very elite policeman. It belonged to a force that almost like the SS that controlled this society. Sandmen have only one mission in life, to stop malcontents who try to run away from this perfect world of tomorrow. Jenny Agutter co-stars with Michael York. I'd seen her work both at the National Theatre, for example, and in the movies. Jen is extremely experienced. I mean, she's very young, but she, she's extremely professional. I play a girl called Jessica, who is uh, living in the 23rd century, in a society where everybody lives to the age of 30 and no longer. There are no responsibilities. And Jessica, I think, feels that there should be some more quality to their life and something else. I back on action! The film is very much an adventure story travels through all sorts of possibilities of the society. It travels with two people trying to escape. Co-starring in the film is Richard Jordan. Richard! Got it. Now he comes forward. Richard's a marvelous actor, one of the most exciting young actors that I've seen around for a long time. He's got a tremendous kind of vitality and and, and passion about him, which is terrific to play with. Lots of nervous energy, almost Brando esque. What's they call him? The Sandman and his green. 
Didn't you see them? People seek a means to live longer in any society. The film envisions an attempt at life renewal in the 23rd century through a mystical liturgy witnessed by thousands of younger spectators in a jammed arena. To film the event, an enormous amphitheater has been constructed with a rotating carousel. The cameras photograph the action from all angles to give the audience realistic points of view during the ride. company also has to devise a wholly different world outside the domed and controlled city. They fashion and construct one for scenes that show evidences of an earlier culture and another set of values. This is not just a film about special effects and extraordinary stunts and marvelous scenery, although that's a very important element and I think it should be quite staggering to look at. There is a very human story running through it. Producers Saul David and the company continue to project the theme that life in a utopia can sometimes have its drawbacks by preparing a sequence in the Sandman's headquarters. Logan Five. Michael Anderson Reddy's then films an interrogation by a master computer. Logan is forced to rationalize his attempted defection from this world of total pleasure. Holograms, three-dimensional moving photographs, are fragments of Logan's subconscious being questioned. They're only one of the extensions the makers of this film are using, projecting today's advanced scientific technology into the 23rd century. Right, the oscillation starts. Barking. Arms come down. The arms come down. Take the lights out. Lights down. Keep the sparking going. Action! This is a complex scene to film. The director blends the actions of his actors and the logistics of a multitude of special effects. <laughs> ultra-modern interiors to film adventures that bedazzle the eye and assail the mind of an audience looking at the 23rd century. Under the direction of creative men, a talented cast and crew are working on a new motion picture of great imagination, using the skills of hundreds of crafts and specialists to enjoy life in a perfect world of things to come. A blend of technical marvels, effects, imagery, and action called Logan's Run.